guys, Orly Waba here, founder of Life Best Inside, and I'm super excited to be coming at you on the second leg of our Kindness Boomerang Cross Country Tour. <laughs> we started off in Virginia, having the opportunity to meet with Sharon Plummer from Power of a Ripple, as she's interviewing people from around the world that are engaging in the kindness movement. Kindness is out there. It kindness is. is happening right now, every second. Next, we headed to Newton School. You see, giving from strength comes from a place of abundance. It comes from a place of you understanding that who you are matters. You understand people love you. Not because somebody else is telling you that you're important, but because you understand it. When we're gonna give outwardly, where do we first need to give? Where's our greatest strength, guys? In your heart. Inside. Our life best is inside of us. When we come to recognize it and realize that value and that beauty, it's gonna be easier to see it in other people. And that's when kindness flourishes the most. And the more we do so, we build our best stronger and stronger. And the stronger we are, the more likely we are to be able to pick other people up. I just love the idea. I love how inspiring she is, and I love uh, that she believes in something that is so important to pay attention to. I really loved it. I thought it was very inspiring, and um, love sending the message to the kids that they're important and they're valuable, and um, that they can have an impact on other people's lives. I think the kids took away really a feeling of empowerment and how important the whole theme of kindness is. You have to help yourself to help other people. Kindness is kind of contagious, but in a good way. They're going to carry this message with them for quite a while. I loved it, to be honest, and kindness is my main goal. My main goal basically is to make the world a better place. One, two, three, kindness! From there, we headed to Maryland to Peninsula Regional Medical Center, where we had a very unique opportunity to go around to a few of the patients, giving them kindness boomerang books, and just chatting about the concept of kindness in general. We started up here in Salisbury, Maryland, going to Froggy 99.9. We had a chance to meet with Whiskey and Randy. Uh, the kindest boomerang cross country tour is happening. She is with us and she has put together a movement. The whole purpose is to increase the positive discussion dialogue. Mm -hmm. Because you can have people that believe differently, but if we can increase dialogue, that's when we can get to a better place. From there, we went to the Salisbury School where we had a chance to connect with students and give a presentation about the power of kindness. Here they are, all of the kids. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Confidence and arrogance look so similar and they are complete opposites. Arrogance is coming from a place of weakness. So a person that's making others feel bad about who they are, that is a sign that that person doesn't have confidence that you think they have, but it's arrogance. That means they don't understand their value. Confidence, a person that's confident, is somebody that makes everybody feel like they're welcome and included. That's a sign of confidence. They look the same, but they are so different. Just remember, no matter how much we give to somebody, it's not gonna change their perception of us. We have to change our perception of us. That's it. I really liked the video because it really did show how what we say affects people. To hear her words and to hear what people really go through, it's really inspiring to hear. Today's presentation was absolutely fantastic. In talking to some of the students after the presentation, um, I think it had an impact on them, especially the um, high school kids. I have been waiting for this for almost two years to see her present to students and I was not the least bit disappointed. I was absolutely stunned by every word she had to say to these kids. From there we went to a lunch with Mayor Day, the mayor of Salisbury, Maryland. What a spectacular person he is and he actually presented me with the coin, with the mayor coin, and showed me the proclamation that Salisbury, Maryland is a kindness city. We're proud to welcome Life Best Inside and, and their impact and Orly's impact in our community. Uh, and it's something that we want to be a part of for a long time to come. Uh, Salisbury is a, a kinder place for being a part of uh, the Dance for Kindness effort, uh, and we're a better place for it. So we thank Orly and we thank Life, Life Best Inside uh, for, for all that they've done and what they've shared with Salisbury. And from there, we headed to Salisbury Middle School for another amazing presentation with such a vibrant group of kids. Sometimes it seems like the things that we want to accomplish, the people that we want to be, it's like a mountain standing in front of us. We want to be better. We want to do good. We continuously find ourselves 
being faced with a challenge. And we look at it as a mountain that we just have to push in one shot, but it doesn't budge. Don't get overwhelmed by the gap. Go into your back pocket, take out your shovel, and start moving your mountain one shovel full at a time. Thank you guys so much. A visit and a great opportunity for all of our students and staff here at Salisbury Middle School. Orly is phenomenal. We've gotten to know her through her TED Talks and learning about all that she's doing with her Life Fest initiative and we are thrilled to have been a part of it today. I really liked the presentation because it was like really well put together and you can tell she worked a lot, put a lot of time and effort. So I believe that kindness is the key. She was just amazing how she spoke from her heart to each individual person that was there, and it'll affect me for a long time to come. Of course, we ended off our day out in Barnes & Noble for a book signing, where I had the opportunity to connect with various members of the Salisbury community that are making an impact and a difference in this community in their own way. I know that it has acts of kindness in it. I'm really excited to read it. I think you've got a good, a good heart and I think you're making a difference. We started off our day in Bennett Middle School. We had two fantastic back-to-back -back presentations where we got a chance to connect with the kids about kindness. When people talk about kindness, that it's doing for others, and it's true, right? Being kind to others is easy. It's easy, it comes natural. What's hard is actually loving who we are. That's the key to making kindness flourish. I like the video because it showed different acts of kindness that we can do every day. I just think the whole presentation was good and it'll help me in my life. Freddie, I've heard from kids saying the same thing. And adults. We've been talking about it. It was like motivational. It's sad and funny at the same time. I like the video and how it showed kindness. If you take a deep breath in, that means that the universe, the world is betting on you. That regardless of the mistakes you made yesterday and the day before, you are not your mistakes. We've been using her book all year and trying to kind of create that culture here at the school as well. I love how attentive my kids were. I think they were able to really connect to what Worley was saying. I think it's just really amazing what Worley's doing um, to inspire kindness worldwide. off with an amazing evening filled with music entertainment it was a fantastic night where we had the chance to connect with various community members and share how they too are making a difference in their local community and how together with life as inside we can create global change day three we started off in Mardella everybody including myself and all your teachers have insecurities guys we all do if we can see that we can be able to conquer, break down all these barriers so that we can connect with one another. Guys, this, this is a peel. If you eat an orange, you don't eat an orange for the peel. The peel is there to protect the orange, correct? But you're eating it because of the fruit inside. But if we're going to label or we're going to judge people based on their peel, then we're not tasting the fruit inside. We're not connecting with the essence and the soul of a person. It was a really good presentation and it was very inspirational. I liked how it brought more awareness to how people can be more kind to others. The students were captivated by it. Her message was one that provided relational side of things, but then it also gave people hope to think about that their actions can make a difference for someone else. Um, to me, kindness means to do something out of your way for somebody else. Something you can do every day to make somebody smile. When people see you helping other people, they will help other people. It's recognizing others and taking your time to uh, reach out to them. I think we need kindness so that people can be nice to each other and so it wouldn't be a completely bad world. And from there, we headed to meet with Police Chief Duncan. We're super excited because they're going to be piloting our Inspiring Kindness Initiative. This actually gives us an opportunity to kind of document the good work of our officers and the contact that they're having with everyone out there, with our kids, you know, with the residents here, with visitors. Eventually the goal would be to have our officers be able to hand out these kindness citations when they catch individuals doing acts of kindness. Uh, it's a great way to really um, get the information out about the connections that we make almost on a daily basis. 100%. Really. It's not just about law enforcement officials catching people doing things that are negative, it's also seeing them doing things that are positive. So thank you for coming up with this great idea. Um, thank really you so much. about it and kudos.
kudos to you. This is really awesome. Thank you for just in thinking about the problem and thinking about solutions to the problem. Thank you so much. Of course. And guys, keep your eyes open because you might be caught doing an act of kindness. Yeah. Yeah. North Pocono Middle School, where we had the chance to speak to the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. When someone is kind to me, I just want to be kind to everyone else around me. So like Orly said, when you witness kindness, it helps spread it. It's amazing how the little things that you do for someone really catch on, even just a smile, a friendly face. Kindness is an energy. So if I did an act of kindness for Alexis, right? Now, if you're filled with that energy, you're going to want to go ahead and you want to give that kindness forward. You might go ahead and say, I'm going to give that kindness forward to Kira. But guess what? You're not only impacted here. Why? Because Billy's seeing what's going on. Now, he might not say anything, but when you see somebody engaging in kindness, when you see somebody do something good, it actually impacts you. So when you just did that act of kindness, you didn't just help her. All the people that saw you are now impacted and inspired because of you. So think for a minute at how many thousands and tens of thousands of lives you guys have affected so far in your life. Pretty, pretty incredible. Orly definitely has a great message to share with everyone, students and adults alike. It was very well received by our school. I've already had several faculty members share with me how inspired they were by her speaking. I saw her speak before and just seeing her a second time, it never gets old and her message of kindness is really something that affects me. I think it was great. I think that you know everyone that um, was here can really take something out and apply it into their own lives. I honestly just felt truly happy. I just felt so good about everything. How every person has like their own job, everyone matters. This is a lifesaver. It's a lifesaver. You feel like there's help out there now. Thank you so much for everything and for bringing me here, for making this happen, and for being leaders because each of you are a leader in your own way. And you guys make the cool thing being kind. So just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. An amazing journey, one filled with kindness, one filled with friendship, one filled with loads of hope. Follow along on the rest of the journey with us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all at Life Best Inside.